Celebrity guests never guess who gon' drop in Television's best like a S on the chest Who's next? Say less Cause you rockin' with, you rockin' with the best Yeah, Mocha, post it with the poster We ain't turn on your radio Welcome to the post up. This is Mo Clark, and oh, that see. theme song was performed by Rozzy, who is R2. sitting next yeah. to me, who doesn't know the words yeah. to the theme song. I recorded over two hundred verses last year. Rozzy, I think this is the type of stuff that happens when you're a child prodigy. Yeah. You just put stuff out there. Look, I'm, I'm trying to stop cussing. Just in case BET ever want to see my footage, I don't want them to be like, "Oh, she a thug," because really, I'm not a thug. This ain't nothing wrong being a thug. You know, um, it ain't really if that I big, keep cussing, but... I don't know what station will pick me up. They all will pick you up. Well, yeah, well, I mean. Especially like BT Uncut. That's a good idea. Yeah. But now this is era of the YouTube, so you really don't even have to get put on at this point. You can put yourself on that's at this true, point. That's true, that's true. But um, tonight's topic is sugar. And I'm going to tell y'all why in a little bit. But first, we're going to get into Moments with Mo. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Jojo, who first? Who we got? Who I'm gonna talk about? Mm. Young Miami, Young Miami. Yes, sir. I don't remember if I talked to you guys about this. I think I did. Jojo, keep me honest. Uh, when she dropped her song a couple of weeks ago, Rap Freaks. Uh, yeah. The thing that got me about that one and a half minute song was it was one and a half minutes, and I didn't know if we were supposed to take it serious or not. I loved. I liked watching that joint when it was on mute. It was fire. Right, cause she was pretty, but um, that song is trash, and I'm sorry, it's trash. At first, I was like, maybe it's a joke, because she came out and she was just like, such and such and such. I don't think it started out as a joke. I thought, you know, some people might have been laughing at her, and she decided to laugh with them, laugh with her. Yeah. Because why would you have a whole release party? Buenos noches. <laughs> yeah, why would you have a whole <laughs> release party for a joke of a song? Shout That's, out, that shit insane. Shout out insane. to you know Young Miami, though. I young like Miami. Ooh, that, I didn't like that song at all. I did not like that song. She was not rapping on the beat. The beat ran away from her. As I some still love you, time. Miami, though. It don't even matter. Uh, now she's trying acting. She tweeted today, Young Miami, the actress. Now, I really don't know what her tweet was about because I'm a little older and I, I don't think the City Girls era is for me. I mean, it kind of sort of is. It's just that I grew up with Eve and Trina and all of them. So you don't want to have no hot girl summer? Like I have a hot girl summer all year long. Okay, so that's for you then. No. Bonus no chest. Bonus no chest. I've never drugged a guy. <laughs> never. Hey, the city girls ain't never said they drug nobody. So Are you they, sure? Are yeah, you sure? Yeah. Wrong rapper. 
No, no, no. They the city girls said they were scamming dudes too. Scamming. So. But they was they were sober probably. They were sober. The dudes was probably sober because of yeah. But maybe this is a good my, thing. Maybe yeah. Miami. I think Miami should model, and we'll we'll have to get back to her on this acting thing. We got to see what she does. But I think she should model, and JT should rap. I don't know. Miami might be fired with the actress. I can't. You know. That's what I'm saying. Like, we gonna see what happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. But young, if shout out to young Miami. Like bonus noches. Like. You can put me in a remix, Miami. First of all, y'all ain't finna do like y'all did Cardi in the Fast and Furious 18, whatever it was. What oh, was yeah, it? yeah, Fast and Furious 47. 47. Right. They amped it up. Cardi B gonna be in here. I ain't gonna lie. She definitely had more lines in Fast and Furious 37 than she did in Hustlers. That's true. Hustlers, she ain't do nothing, but imagine how hard it was for her to play a stripper. That was her little start. Yeah, Child. she had to start somewhere. Well, Cardi can't. Well, I ain't gonna talk about Cardi. Anyway, who's next? Bonus nut chest. Jigga. Jay Z. J to the Hold Z. Hold on, because I gotta get this story out of my phone. Rock Nation. Jay Z is fee free. Now, basically, what Rock I mean about Nation. this story is Jay Z was being sued. Um, he was up for a lawsuit in New York for a breach of contract. Um, by a let me see, brought on by a perfume company. They're saying that Parlux fragrances, which I, I don't know if you guys know, but they make uh, Prada candy. Oh, I love Prada candy. It's my absolute favorite perfume. If sure. anybody is interested in gifting me a birthday gift next week, Prada candy. Yeah. All of them. They all smell delicious. Um, so they're saying that he had a $67 million lawsuit in damages. That's just like snack food for Jigger. Well, he ain't got to pay it. Yeah, it's easy. The jury rejected the counterclaim. Oh, Jesus. I'm, I don't know what my phone is going to. Freestyle. Hope it's not Pornhub. Yeah, that's that'd be okay. That'd be embarrassing. Pornhub. That'd be embarrassing. So, Jay-Z continues to stay richer. Okay, end yeah. of that story. Who's next? Okay, now, here's the thing. I, I, I really don't know why everybody is mad at Travis Scott. I mean... During Astro World, some people have gotten hurt, some people have died, another victim just passed away. Now, the first thing is, I saw there are several different videos that are surfacing about him performing. Rozzy, you're a performer. Right. Okay. He was he was elevated, right? And he was performing. Mm -hmm. Now, me personally, from being in plays and stuff like that. Sometimes when you're high up or you got the lights in your face, you really can't see. People think that you can see, but you're a performer. You're performing. You you supposed to make the crowd think you're looking Especially at them. Especially when it's 50,000 people in the crowd. That's what I'm saying. Now, if you're that high up and you're performing the music going, you got the earbud in one ear or maybe even two because some of them perform with two ears so they can drown out all the extra sound and whatever. Now, if you see people running... I don't think it was 12,000 people that took off running initially to where he, you know, he, they probably, they might have looked like little ants or something. Right. Nobody was saying, like, there are video with people telling the staff, they're like, hey, somebody such and such, such, such and such, but they're not directly tapping him. Right. They're telling the production to stop the show. Nobody is telling him. But even if they did, I feel like that was a no-win situation for him. Because if he would have, if he would have stopped the show, he would have. Oh, you know, he stopped, and I paid a million dollars for my front row ticket in the grass, and this, this, and this, and this. Yeah, I feel like he, he did the best he could in that situation. That's it. He ain't know. You feel me? Like I was just talking about it the other day. I just feel like he didn't know. As an artist, when you're performing, like that's something that the artist is not thinking about. We up here thinking about performing. We think about doing a good show. People paid to come see you. People came out. They got dressed up for you. Yeah. You want to give a show. It's not like it's new for people to start being irate, doing especially when it's 50,000 yeah. people in the crowd. He probably expecting security to come take care of it and, and the authorities to make sure they take care of that. He's not security. He's a, a performer. He's a performer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm sorry. I'm praying for all the families. That's a terrible Absolutely. situation. But just try to gotta, gotta get up off of Travis as far as the blame for that man. Absolutely. That man is, uh, and here's a, a fun factor. Uh, he issued an apology and blah, 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 blah. And I saw people in the comments talking about that didn't come from him. That came from his PR. 
you know, the more and more that I'm involved in this world, this industry, this industry of entertainment and media, the more and more I be finding the comments that people say to be dumb as hell. It's because that's what it. PR is supposed to do. PR is supposed to be damage control. Right. Because what if he was uneducated? Not saying he is, but what if he was? Right, mm -hmm. and the first thing he did was woke up that morning. He pissed off everybody, tweeting, saying stuff, tagging him, adding him, this that, and third. And what if he would have got up that morning and tweeted and say, "Bro, first of all, y'all on that fuck shit, cause that wasn't even, I ain't even know nothing about all that shit. I was up there doing my thing, and I was high as a motherfucking kite, this that, and third. And then everybody would have been like, "Oh everybody my god, he's tripping. so insensitive. He mm -hmm. da, 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 da. But that's why you have your PR. That is what you pay them people. Speaking of rise, I need a check. Yeah. Okay. What kind from, of check? From you. What kind of check? The kind that I can cash that's going to be good. Oh, those type of checks. Yeah. I thought you were talking about like a check mark. Yeah. Like, I, don't, I don't do your damage you do control. Mark. You yeah. haven't done anything. No yet. damage. Don't say I, yet. I ain't did nothing. First of all, do, do we ain't going to even talk about the fact that I tried to forewarn you before the whole fuck Rizy movement. I tried to forewarn you, you. You did. But I guess because I had only been in your life for six months and that person had been in your life for 22 years. Yeah, but that's, uh, you know what I'm saying? That, that's going to happen no matter what, but that ain't got nothing to do with me. That's so, that's other people's actions. Grand. It's not damage control on my side. Well, the good thing is you did turn it around and start the Fuck Rosie movie. Yeah, man. So, I good job. Rizzi. You didn't need yeah. me anyway. Yeah, shout out to Fuck Rosie team. It's fuck top, Fuck Rosie movement, man. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Keep on hating me. That shit is oh dope. Oh, my gosh. Shut the hell up. Okay, so uh, <laughs> before I pulled in the parking lot tonight, I found out that the Kardashians have, they're cutting Travis Scott from the Keeping Up with the Kardashian episodes that he is said to be featured in. And they're not going to be filming with him. Now, let me just say this. Good. That's cool. I wouldn't want to be in there anyway. I'm just trying to figure out, is uh, do they, did they cut him out because they, I know what they say. They say that they cutting him out because of the whole Astro World thing. But come on, y'all known for bad publicity yeah, and shit like happening that, all yeah. the time. Kylie Blackface every Christmas. And every every day, all of them do. Yeah. That extra tanning and contouring and all of that. Okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah that's true. Whatever. Oh, I like that song. Uh, now, was it because of that or was it because Travis Scott just took Stormy to see her black side of the family a couple weeks ago? He took her to the cookout. So, what? why y'all really mad? Boy, I bet that was culture shock. Uh, culture shock. It's culture shock for me. I can't even say yeah. it. Culture shock for the baby. You just now meeting. I mean, I wonder what that was like. Like, I wonder what she said. Gosh, these people are dark. That's my grandma. Man, everybody getting into like, this like my other grandma. Everybody know what they was getting into. It's not like anybody know on each side. Kylie knows what she get into when she got with Travis. Travis knows what he get into when he got with them. Can you imagine taking no Kylie surprise. to the cookout? Yeah. Literally, the cookout. It's like it's like it is when, you know what I'm saying? I ran late in there now. Like, Family it don't be all look in. like Travis took his family up out of wherever they was and got them in a mansion and then like that. It looked like he really went to the neighborhood where you might find a corner store at. Yeah. That's it, boy. Imagine Stormy being pulled in for a gas station for a jungle juice. You remember jungle juice? You ain't old enough to know about jungle Man, juice. I don't know what Are you? Is. You don't know what jungle you don't know what jungle I know. juice is? I watched George in a jungle. Who don't know what jungle juice is? Them the juices they used to sell at school. You had to pay extra for them because they were like the good a little, like a milk carton. Yeah. You know what a milk carton look like? Yeah, I don't know what that looks like. Right. Shit, you're a baby. Okay, who's next? I can't believe look at Google Jungle Juice. It's Soldier. delicious. Who Soldier said Soldier ain't from the hood? Oh, I, and I said I put Soldier Bot. Damn, that's what happened. <laughs> Soldier Bot, tell him. <laughs> Soldier Bot, tell him. Soldier clone him. right there. All right, Soldier Bot <laughs> is so excited that he has been tweeting, honey. Kanye West apologized to Soldier Boy for not putting his verse on the Donda album. He apologized for not telling him that it wasn't on there. Correct. I don't think he's sorry for not being on that. I don't think he is either. Yeah. Uh, first thing is, Soldier Boy is obviously excited because he's tweeting and saying, I'm the first rapper that ever got an apology <laughs> from Kanye West. That boy, Soldier, is a is a marketing genius, man. That man, everything he doing, all the hooping and hollering, is all to sell what he got going on. He's going to be on the Breakfast Club tomorrow. 
you know him and somebody else i can't even believe that i didn't put her shit up here but i didn't put her shit up here because she's giving she's getting a lot of publicity uh chloe bailey decided to take to instagram or social media or whatever this morning and she was excited about her four million followers and she was saying thank you and she can be seen on the bed in lingerie sucking a lollipop wow and talking in a phone sex voice you got the picture of that it's a video jojo pull up chloe's uh social media for me please this sounds interesting uh and here's the thing. <laughs> I'm going to get a shirt to say that. Here's the thing. <laughs> Chloe know what she doing. And I just, you know, I don't even know. It's like with my daughter. My daughter used to wear all black. She used to do all the weird contacts and the this and the that. And the more I fussed at her, the more she continued to do it. And it's like shock value for her. Yeah. Like, that's why she goes out in public dressed like that. I, I, I genuinely think she likes it. But it's shock value for her. Like, to the people in the mall, when we walk through the mall, they ain't never seen no little black girl dressed like Marilyn Manson. Yeah. It's culture shock for them. It sounds. I be wanting to fight. JoJo. Oh. oh. I thought you was hiding. Okay. So, Chloe knows what she's doing. I, this don't look like the same Chloe that was crying at the beginning of the year. Oh, my God, I don't know. I ain't get it. And what's so disgusting for me is that, you know, some of my guy friends that are my age and we're following each other on social media, when I go to Chloe's page and I see them liking all of her pictures, I'm like, bro, you in. old enough to be her daddy. That's nasty. That's making me look at you different. I don't want to bring my kids around you because... Okay, here you go. To my 4 million followers and counting, my candy kisses and my closers, thank you all so much for loving me, and I love you right on back. There's a lot more to come. Hmm. Maybe a bird. <laughs> like she, just, she, she just can't. That was interesting. That not, was not, not what I thought. First of all, who, what, who, what? I think she was practicing. Did she talk to her PR? That's before I mean, she they, did they, that shit. I think they telling her to keep on doing what she's doing because they probably like, are because it's getting attention. Yeah, she get every attention. time she do some some something like that, she get posted by the shade room. She get posted by the ball alert. Everybody steals her stuff mm -hmm. as soon as she posted. I just want to know. Who decided to name her fan base Candy Kisses and Clovers? <laughs> what? That's what she called her fan base. I mean, to all my Candy right. Kisses and my Clovers. So which one is the fellas? The the Clovers, I guess. Can't be can't be Candy. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Don't know who names that. I don't know. That was it. Yeah, I I saw people saying that Chloe disappointed them with that. What with that video? Yeah, they they feel like she, they feel like she's doing too much at this point. I mean, she young. Uh, she's trying to figure it out. She'll figure it out. I don't think she's trying to figure it out. I think she has figured it out. This is this <laughs> is this is the lane that I she feel wants like to she be doing, in. How old is she? 21, 22? She doing what every other 22-year-old girl is doing on social media right now. She just got a bigger platform than everybody else, but she doing the same. I think the reason why it shocks most people is because we kind of watch them grow up. Yeah. yeah we watch them as little girls. And to see a little girl as a woman doing this kind of... And the thing for me that gets me, the reason why it's troubling for me is because when I look at her, I still see some sense of innocence in her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like... I don't like the double shit that she do. Like, I don't like how she, I know Beyonce, Beyonce says she had an alter ego when she got on stage yeah. and performed. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. She don't even talk on social media. She right. make a post and she don't say shit to nobody. She just posted and you do your own caption and that's that. Right. She ain't following nobody. She ain't none of that. So you get on social media and you post this shit and then you turn around and do a video crying because your daddy best friend in your DMs. I don't understand. Like, mm. 
And I wonder what her parents got to say. They probably tell her to keep doing the shit because she bringing in the check. She, she going to figure it out, man. Like, yeah, she's just young. I don't think she's she, going to figure it she out. She's going to get it together. I, Everybody I get it together. No. You see, Justin Bieber got it together. They was like, man, stop hanging out with all the other black people and stop going to jail. And then he pulled it together, got to work with Jesus. He and then did. after and, he got with Jesus, and he, he got, got back a wife. to her. He got, got a wife. wife. So I, she I young. She going to pull it together. I'm rooting for you, ma. I don't think she's going to pull it together no time soon. I think we got a couple of years of the bullshit. <laughs> I think I think I be. think we got a couple of years of the bullshit because she hasn't even dropped her first album yet. Oh yeah. So this it's might be up. a play leading up to maybe that's who her clover kisses is. I don't. I mean, candy. I, shit, I don't know. That's a dumb ass. Candy clovers. She should have went with that. Yeah. She should have went with candy clovers because yeah. that ain't, whatever. Anyway, speaking of candy, Rosie, you brought me some new music. Yeah. New song. You brought me sugar. Sugar. So let's talk about it. Right. Uh, wh- what made you decide to drop this project, especially right now with Caddy Feet going crazy on all the the different radio Believe stations? Believe it or not, Caddy Feet came out. I know you told me almost three years ago now. Fourteen years ago, you told me. Yeah, fourteen. Yeah, nineteen seventy two. Yeah, was, was the there. exact date. I was Caddy Feet came out. Yeah, the exact year. That was the yeah the exact year. <laughs> the date was July. You know what I'm saying? 1972. July but yeah, what? Anyway, July 13th. Oh, Lord. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, Sugar just came out. I'm always recording music. I was in the club. You I, most definitely are always. I'm recording right. nonstop. That's why I said I recorded 200 verses last year. I can't remember every every single verse. So outside of us and our working relationship, we're actual friends. And I think it sure. is so hilarious because I, I have never... Okay, I'm sure I've had friends that were artists before. I don't want to say that and then people be like, uh, Mo, you forgot about me. Because that's not true. But I haven't been as close to them as I am with you because we work together. And you're, you know, you be encouraging me and putting me in these these job titles. Mo, you should do PR. You know what, Mo? You should do stand-up. Rise, if you give me one more goddamn career. Stand-up, man. If y'all think Mo should do stand-up, drop it in the comments because I feel like she will have a great career in the stand-up. So... I laugh. The fact is, you know, having a friend as an artist, it's interesting for me because you you literally will make somebody listen to all twenty two of your songs. And oh, the crazy man. thing, I've watched you when you play your songs. You don't give a shit if nobody else in the room is vibing out. You are. I'm going this, your, this is your shit. Every last one of these twenty two songs is a ahead. hit. You don't care. You ain't even looking back to see it. You know, you ain't checking I'm for no reaction that. or nothing. It's almost like I'm gonna release that shit regardless. What that yeah. dumb girl say? Irregardless. Yeah. Irregardless. Believe I'm that. gonna release it. So where do you where do you get your motivation? Because you keep putting material out. Like you don't get tired. Nah, um, I love what I do. I'm obsessed with being a musician. Like I really love it. Like I said it in my new project. I'm like I'm gonna tell it's dearly departed. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's. I ain't stopping. Like even if I stop making music, I'm always gonna be part of hip hop. That's why I got my show I'm working on right now, a real rapper shit. I'm always gonna be part of hip hop. I'm always gonna be part of the culture to move it forward. You know. I don't know you and your damn bipolar post on Facebook. I'd be like, what the hell, Rise is talking about today? And then it just be some. <laughs> some of it be funny because I'd be like, he's retarded at this point. He's retarded at this point. So what do you do? Do you like? Is it is it a culture shock thing for you when you get up and you post things, or are you just Sometimes I'll be messing with people. Sometimes it might come from a real place, but I'll be messing with my people a lot, like, for, for, like... So you weighed in on the, the Kanye West interview he did yeah. the other day. I didn't watch it, but yeah. apparently he was throwing a lot of people under the bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was throwing a lot of people under the bus. So how do you feel about that? I feel like he always speak how he feel. I can't do nothing but respect that, you know? Everybody else, this is an industry full of people being fake and uh, throwing stuff under the couch and not ever saying nothing about how they really feel. So he gonna say it. I feel like he was gonna say the same thing that Drink Champs interview that he gonna say to somebody to their face. Yeah. Like it's gonna be the same situation. Is it always the best situation? No, but at least it ain't no hidden. And you know what? I I think no publicity, bad publicity, good publicity. It's all publicity. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. It's still gonna get. Cause the one thing that I have learned from watching all these blogs and the posts and the this and the that. Like, you might go on the shade room and they post something about Jay-Z. 
and it might be bad. And everybody on there, I can't believe that. He's stupid for doing that. Why he do that? That's terrible. Da, 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 da. Right. And then you go to Jay-Z page. Well, he deleted it. He had it up for like 24 hours. But let's say he had a page. You go yeah. on his page, they'd be like, oh, man, Jay-Z, we love you, Jay-Z. You black power. And it'd well, be the same I, people. And that's how I go. And that's why I be in the studio bopping to my music rather than people who's bopping in there at all or not because half of them ain't going to rock to your shit in front of your face anyways. I'm trying to tell you. They'll sit there and go home and sneakily listen to it and know every single word. Shit, shit, flow nasty. But then they see like, yeah, that's tight. Yeah, that's all right. Dude. You did all right. I, I, I remember... Um, I'm not going to say it was when I first released my makeup line, but it was when I had released like a new eyeshadow palette or something like yeah. that. And I was excited. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And most of the time, my friends, they will tell me, oh, Mo, you know, I want to support you, but I don't wear makeup. Bitch, you wear lip gloss. Shut the fuck up. But okay. Yeah. So they don't wear makeup, right? Yeah. And I remember watching one of my friends. She must have forgot we was following each other on Facebook, right? She probably don't make She has time. never ever in the history of niggadom bought anything from the Micah J collection. However, she went to another black business owner that is very popular and popping, mm-hmm. and she spent almost $200 on their Black yeah. Friday sale. We do that to each other, you know what I'm saying? And I just learned to push past it. That's why I was like, I don't be caring about likes. I, don't, I was just talking about it the other day. All that stuff is fabricated in the first place anyways. Because I got the biggest thing to say. I, I'll be posting my music, posting music videos, whatever I'm doing. I got people that won't say a word to me. Mm-hmm. But everywhere I go, somebody will stop me by, oh, boy, I seen you put up that song. I saw that video. That show was crazy. You had that show last week. Then that vlog three months ago, I was watching it. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, why you ain't click like? There ain't nobody click like, nobody click like, nobody comment, nobody, you know what I'm saying, want to say a thing out in public, but they going to go crazy on you when they see you in person because they're a real life fan. But for some reason, we can't love each other because they made us hate ourselves. I think it's so crazy that people, you know, people, even your friends and your family, they, they, it's like they scared to support you because they don't want to see you win. But that is some yeah. dumb shit. Because my thing is, if you support me and you in my corner and we close and we cool like that, if I win, we win. Right. If you my cousin and you out here, don't call me and ask me for some free shit. Because I have to pay for that. These people, these vendors don't give me shit for free. At all. I ain't going to lie. Sometimes they throw in like a little free hair tie. It'd be a little bitty one. A little something. It'd be a little bitty one. Or they might give me a free pack of eyelashes or something like that. Mm-hmm. What I'm going to do with that. But with that being said, if I win and my companies and my brands and businesses blow up and you've been there with me, right? why am I going to act like I don't know you? Mm-hmm. And I used to wonder all the time, why is it that when these people become famous and this, that, and the third, and the other, why do they treat their family funny? Why do they families come? <laughs> that shit is hilarious to me. They family like cousins be people. coming out the woodwork telling what they ain't nothing did. You know, we just got put out and my, my uncle is Ricky Smiley and we just got evicted. Like, what the hell? Like, Ricky don't even know you. Where was you at? When Ricky was on his journey, when he, when people weren't laughing at his jokes, when they be, when they started laughing at his jokes, when he had bad publicity, where were you? Now you want to, hey Ricky, let me be an extra on your show. Hey Ricky, I, 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 just 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 get me outside cutting grass with my with my lawnmower business. I'm gonna run a t-shirt and I'm just gonna run across the yard. You ain't gotta mention me. Just let me get like five seconds of camera footage with my logo on my shirt. But that's why it's so important for us to rock with the people that's actually there for us. You know what I'm saying? Like you, Shamika. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. That's what God. If you change Shine up Steve. on me, if you change <laughs> up on me, I'm gonna be man. I'm gonna show up to your concert with a fuck rising t-shirt. It's gonna be white. It's gonna be wrote in magic marker because I ain't even gonna buy one. I'm just gonna. It's gonna be. I there. gotta say that um, I can't. I mean, I can speak for myself, but I don't trust. I don't. I don't. I don't switch up on nobody who's really I been thought there. You should say something stupid. <laughs> no, nah, I haven't. Like genuinely, like if people are there for me and they show me love, I'm gonna always be there. I may not. I'm gonna do everything that I can to the best of my ability, no matter what. I and agree. that don't matter if I'm doing a, a war show or if I'm if I'm working a nine to five. It don't even matter. Like as I long agree. as you show me that love, I'm gonna come there and I'm gonna give you that love back. As long as I feel like it's genuine. I agree. But I do step back when I feel like it's not genuine. If you just around just because you know that I'm starting to get hot, and you just trying to make sure you can just hold on to that coattail so that you can be close enough. 
then I can't be around you. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I totally agree. That's like you know, you you mentioned Shamika. Yep. You know she's one of my brand ambassadors for my whole business or whatever. And I started out with I, I want to say maybe six girls. When I went back to redo it, I started out with six girls. Unfortunately, I lost one, you know, due to the, the incident uh, with Jay Wright, with Lana. She was murdered, allegedly, and she didn't get a chance to start. She started, you know, but she didn't get a chance to do too much other than, you know, post and tag me. Mm-hmm. And Shamika was always posting, and oh, one, other, one other um, young lady was always posting. And it's like, I'm sending you the stuff for free. Right, and it's good shit. Like I could see if I if I was sending somebody some cheap shit, okay. Yeah. And I got it like that little rubber band headband the Chinese people sent me that time. I could see somebody be like, I wouldn't wear this shit. Why am I gonna send my friends and my followers to go get some bullshit? Why would I do that? I could see that. But if it's good quality, why would you not? You gotta get dressed and put some clothes on anyway. Yeah. I work from home. I still get up and put on Lux Mirage. Shout out to Amber Dasher. I don't do that shit every day. Yes, shout out to Amber Dasher. Dasher, Ron. That's where I'm a brand ambassador for Amber Dasher. And I represent, man. As long as people are being an ambassador for companies that make sense for what they're doing, it's easy. um, You know, I've only had my hat on once or twice because, you know, I wear makeup. And so now it's got, like, little makeup ring around it and uh, I would love to promote Aberdasher. However, <laughs> Ron goes out of town every time he's supposed to give me a hat. So, you brought this book. Yeah. You brought this book for a reason. Speaking of businesses. What's the um, reason? What is that reason? Rick Ross, man. Perfect day to boss up. Uh, everybody who know me know that I'm independent. I've been independent for a long time. I've been doing this on my own. There's not really too many people that I come across that I feel like I would actually stand behind and sign to, you know what I'm saying, or do a partnership with. And Ross is one of the two people. And as Ross is funny. We talked about him earlier in Jay-Z, Rock Nation. But um, Ross specifically, because I know that he understands the musicianship. I understand that he understands music in general. And he says he only gets behind stuff if he loves it and he believes in it. I just feel like we... You know what I'm saying? We align, and, and it's just a partnership that makes sense. That was the, the remix that I said I wanted to do with Caddy Feet first was Ross. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So, I'm going to take you back to the early 2000s mm-hmm. when everybody found out that Rick Ross wanted the real Rick Ross. How, yeah. how did that make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everybody everybody has a story. It don't really make me feel no type of way. So, why do you think he did it? He was influenced by it. He was influenced by the story. You know what I'm saying? He, he felt like that was part of the role. I'm influenced by my dad. Mm-hmm. Everything I do, every style that I got is influenced by my dad. Even my, even his hats is something my dad used to wear. You know what I'm saying? So if you're influenced by people, you take on to it. I'm influenced by bad boy. Caddy Fee got that bop. This influence. So, damn, my question just went out. The, it just... And I ain't even been drinking. Yeah. I don't understand. Speaking of Ross, that's that's what I was going to ask you. Have you been watching BMF? Yeah, I've been watching. So, what do you think about the story? Because I know, like, you know, it's, it's a dramatity or whatever. And I'm sure they've added some things and some things are real and some things are true. What do you feel about that? I mean, we're I mean, only, what, like, like six episodes What, what in? I love about BMF is that it's in my city, so it's Detroit all day, and I just feel like that's super dope. Like, even from the beginning, they started off with the jitting and that movement. Like, I just love seeing my city on TV because we're not used to seeing Detroit on TV at all. So, shout out to everybody doing that with BMF and, and 50 for putting You do know, I, I don't think they're filming solely in Detroit. They're, they're filming not, in Atlanta. The story is about <laughs> Okay, you know, I like seeing my city on TV. That's my city. I Rodney, tell no I difference. know you see the Georgia logo yeah. come up when the show go off. Anytime the Georgia logo come off. But what does it say in the beginning? Detroit, Michigan. I don't care. That's the that's, that's, that's just that, that's They just, just not the, filming out there. I'm trying to tell you. The, yeah, it's probably dangerous. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the reason is. But yeah, that, that would be a good it, reason. It's the story of Detroit, Michigan, and I respect it. So they let uh, Terry. Is it Terry? They let Terry out of jail. I think it was Terry. Yes, Meech is still in jail. Yeah. They let Terry out of jail at the beginning of this year due to the COVID. Yeah. 
Terry was good. He was a model prisoner and all this and all that. You know, that's how he got out. Yeah. They won't. They won't let Meech out. They. <laughs> they lowered his time. Yeah. 2025, yeah. okay. He gonna be out sooner than you think, you know? Okay. Like y'all, he gonna be taken care of, you know? He's very, he's definitely gonna yeah, be taken, taken care, care of. of so. I mean, Free shout beach. out, shout out to them actually filming um, the BML movie in Atlanta because I was curious, so I started Googling and doing research because I really, you know, the only thing I knew about BML is I think I'm Big Meech. You know, that's all I knew. I was like, you know, I don't yeah. talk about it because I'm like, who the hell is the Black Mafia family? What is right. that? Is it a rap group? I right. thought it was a rap group, you know, many, many moons ago. Mm -hmm. But I did not know that they had these big drug cartels in Atlanta and Detroit. And I think it was like one, uh, a third one. They had a third headquarter. And I was like, damn, they was moving in Atlanta like that? Yeah, he was going in. That is hey. crazy. Now, they, they are smart uh, until they wasn't. And I think, you know, yeah. at some point in time when people get caught, they probably wanted to get caught. No, somebody Damn, JoJo. You know all the JoJo here. Come sit on the couch. No, I'm just playing. It's always somebody snitching, but I mean, at the end of the day, like, even back back then, it's not as bad. But now, it's like everything is being monitored. You can't do anything. Just just know that everything it is what it is. They're going to get to you eventually. So they, they out there and meet say you don't got no regrets. They don't got no regrets about it. So they did what they felt like they had to do to support their family and, and move on. I mean, it's such a a, a double-edged sword because, you know, um, some people get in a drug game and they're, they're selling to our people and they're hurting our people. But then at the same time, they're selling to our people, they're making the money, and they're putting it back in the community. Right. Just like the guy, Rollo, is that his name? Jojo. Okay, thank you, Jojo. Yeah, goon. Yeah, you know he was helping people in the community and in with their uh, living arrangements and stuff like that. And it's just like, damn, like, you know, you got dope boys, drug dealers out here helping more than the government. Give us our reparations, and we ain't got to worry about none of this no more. Like, for real, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> I'm trying to say. Get Q back in the office. Go ahead and make sure they get this reparation. I think that's talking about two hundred, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars per person. Give us the reparations with a nice, uh, some financial literacy, and then I feel like problem solved. Yeah, I agree. I think the more that that time is changing, uh, you know, time. My my dad passed away when I was nineteen, but he did start talking to me about credit when I was eighteen. But it was like the last six months or whatever. So now, now that I'm here. You know, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'll be 39 next Friday or Thursday. It's one of them it's days. One of them one days. Of them days. Um, I started talking to my daughter about credit, and I started telling her, I was like, look, I think we need to get you a small credit card right now, right. just a small one, because when you turn 25, 26, 27, and you try to go get a house, and you've never had a credit card or anything showing payments, that's just like having bad credit. And those are conversations that need to be had, like, you know, and I applaud Ross again for even trying to give us a book to make sure it's perfect to boss up. He's just talking about his wins, his losses, everything you that he's going to the seminar. I'll go to the seminar next time. Um, I'll be there without a doubt. But it's important you, because... You're going to need about $3,500. That's easy. Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to need some type of literacy on that. Like, I grew up in I grew up in a well family. My family was, was, was pretty decent, you know what I'm saying, middle class. But they, they did pretty good. Even with that being said, I ain't had no type of financial literacy. Like, when I got out here, I had to get out here and figure it out, for real. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we got to pay more attention. When I have my kids for the first time, I'm going to make sure I'm teaching them out the gate. Like, this is credit. This is what it is. Because they're not teaching that in school. They really teach. They're not teaching us about taxes. They're not teaching about none of that. You just getting out of school, and it's, and you just got to figure life out. It's really mm -hmm. setting us up for failure. Even when you go to college, not too many courses is going to teach you about life. Not at all. You know what I'm saying? So not at all. You know, when I was when I was in school and I was taking, I wanted to take up journalism at first. And then when my dad died, I needed a job, and I was like, Oh my God, let me do the medical stuff. And I was gonna be a nurse. I would have made a great nurse. It's just I didn't get that far because before I could even get to the medical aspect of it, I had to take English and math and this and that and da 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 da. -da. They want you to take all that stuff. And I remember working at Wellstar, I was a, a transporter pushing people. Mm -hmm. And I remember going in to get a patient 
and the nurse looked at me and she said, am I supposed to DC this bag? I couldn't wait to give my opinion when she walked out the room. Lady, you making over 30 something dollars an hour. You don't know, you don't know how to go out here and read the patient chart to find out what's in this bag. This is saline water. You can DC the bag. You can you can disconnect it, lady. He don't need the IV pole. Right. But that's what you making the money for. How you going to ask us do he need to go with some salt water? Cuz me personally, I love the beach. Like the beach got salt You're an water idiot, in the ocean Rodney. like You're an idiot. And like you so, said DC Young Fly, he dope as ever. Like he really funny. So, so this like, this other knowledge that you have, I love asking people this. This this natural gift that you have for music, not just being an artist. You know, you know how to work. I'm gonna mess this up, but you know how to work the machines. You know how to do the computer stuff and oh yeah, yeah. move the little lines where they need to be moved. Yeah. Say say what I'm trying to say. You know how to engineer. Oh yeah, and, and on, produce yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. I so mix and master produce. You mix engineer. and master. So with this knowledge that you that you know, mm-hmm. somebody is younger coming up. They got drive. They got hustle. Right. They want to do what you do, the engineer aspect, producer mm-hmm. side of it. If they come to you and ask for help, are you going to charge them? Or are you going to mentor them? I kind of feel like I don't really like, and when it comes to situations like that, people with my energy, I'm big on energy. So it's like, if I feel like I would have to charge the person, that's probably not the person that I really want to work with in the first place. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like, I got an uh, engineer, shout out to Brutus, uh, he a producer coming up right now. He's 19 years old, and he's producing on Hard Canvas 3. And it's like, I just believe in dude. Like, so it's like, when when it's people like that, I see he putting in that work to figure out things on his own. I bring him in every once in a while. I'm like, mm-hmm. this is what I'm working on. You know what I'm saying? This is how you can get better with that. Because I wish somebody would did it for me. Ah. And that's why, gotta, I got to mention Shamika again. You know, yeah. I, when I, Shamika, I see Shamika, <laughs> you know, um, trying to break into what I already do. And right. I, I feel like it, it's on my heart. Like, I'm not selfish. I didn't have anybody to talk to. You know what I'm saying? Because so many people are afraid that you're trying to take their spot. You know what I'm saying? But it might be a spot right next to you with my name on it that, that guy put right there. And you trying to... You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you blocking your own blessings from not helping people. Mm-hmm. So when I saw Shamika a couple of weeks ago at an event, it was so funny. It was cute and it was funny because she, <laughs> she pulled out this little gadget that I had when I first started. Yeah. And she was like, look, Mo. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, do a fit, you know, do a fit your phone. And I started telling her, well, she ain't doing it right now. But I told her to flip her phone yeah. sideways. Shamika, look at the screen right there. Look at the screen. You see that? That that feel me? The, the camera is sideways. That's gonna get you. That's gonna get you a wide shot. That's gonna get everything in the room instead of that little space. So when you go yeah. to edit your video, you it ain't gonna look funny. If you put this on YouTube, it's gonna look funny. You gonna have to go in and crop it and do whatever. But see, I didn't have nobody to tell me that yeah, stuff. It was stuff I had to know. figure yeah. out and mess up and all this and all that. But see, that's why we bosses, cause we we True. figured it out. It's a lot of stuff that nobody taught us, and they still ain't trying to teach. You see this stuff coming out. They like people be thinking they about to stop it. Like, yo, I I didn't help them out. I guess it's not about to. I guess it's not about to happen. Guess what today is? Eleven eleven. And guess what came out today? Sugar. Regardless, we're doing it. It's not stopping. And when Listen, you become a boss and you figure you it out on your own, to. you're going to do it. What you I, have what to. What I just posted today if, and you if, loved it? I don't know. On, but on I Facebook. loved it. I know I loved it. Yeah. I did. And I reshared I said it. one thing I'm going to do is keep on moving. I don't know. I don't know. It was something anyway, like we're going to keep on but going. Like, that's how I feel like that. Because without without this, without the cameras, without the production, without mm-hmm. the this, the that, the da, 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 I know that the mo that started this journey i didn't start by now now people reach out to me and invite me to stuff yeah they put me on their media list i didn't start out like that i started out by going to event right looking up events going to spot after spot and spot. emailing people emailing the organizer mm-hmm. hey my name is mo i do media and my very first event was uh black women hustle or something like that and she invited me out and i had that little that little contraption you got i took it with me and i went down there 
and my videos were trash. <laughs> they were trash. Yeah. I didn't know what I was doing. I had the iPhone. But the thing is, every time that girl see me, she still invite me to stuff you because consistent. she's watching me and level grow. up. And I had a lot of people that surrounded it the same thing for me. Like my first mixtape that I did with with, uh, with Sean Ski when I first moved down here, that mix was terrible. <laughs> The songs were straight, like, but the mix I was doing, I was mixing the master myself. That joint was trash. Like, I refused to go back and listen to it. Like, I'm not listening to it. Nobody can tell me to go listen to it. You know what I'm saying? But if it wasn't for that and constantly putting out project after project after project after project after project, we got a whole label. Melodic Island is legit. I'm trying to say. You know what and I'm saying? Think the post up is legit. I haven't Googled it. I, I want to see what the, what the year 39 represents because within, I say within the past, Three, four weeks. Shmika tell you. Like, I've been having... It's been going on longer than that. Because we had a conversation at an event months ago. And I've been having these revelations. And it feels like at this point in life, there are no problems. There are only solutions. What? Shit happens. Oh, yeah. Right? You're going to love this. Don't it seem like a new mode? Don't you feel that right? Yeah. I'm yeah, not complaining yeah. today. I mean, you here and you still here. You feel me? That's that's the, that's the step in this stuff. You ain't stopped. That's so the whole thing. at the end of this year, because we're in November, this is what I've learned this year. All right, let me other than what I told you, there are no problems. There are only solutions. If something is being done and you don't like it, whether it's a relationship, a job, a friendship, or whatever, get rid of that shit. Just be done. Like, don't, just, hey. you ain't got to waste your time trying That's, to figure it out. That sounds great. Sometimes you got, shut the hell up, Rosie. That sounds sometimes, great. She got some great advice. Sometimes you that got to brilliant. sacrifice for stuff that you want. Like, you can be yeah. like, oh, I can give, I, I'm going to give up this, but I'm going to gain that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. When I gain that, I'm going to be able to do this. Or yeah. I'm gonna be, you, you see where I'm going with this? Yeah. Okay, I just, wanted, I just wanted to know I'm, if you was I'm picking proud, up what I was putting there. I'm proud to hear that, you know what I'm saying, as a friend. Like, that's what I like to hear it's because, the red wig. yeah, you got to keep on going. Like, hey, man, it's life. It's cherry cola. <laughs> all I know is life ain't promised you. I go out here and do what you want to do with your life, and you can't be waiting on nobody. Absolutely. You can't let nobody stop you from you know what, what you're trying say? to do. You got to keep going. Nothing beats a fail but a try. You feel me? And even this, this next journey, this next chapter that I'm about to take, I don't know if I'm finna blow up. You know what I'm saying? But I don't fear not blowing up. It ain't even about, at this point, it ain't even about blowing up. It's about having consistent yeah. supporters that rock with you. Right. I watch your show. You know what I'm saying? Like, I Thank watch you. it every Thursday. I watch last week with Do to Do the Cakes. That's how you know I'm Did watching. Did you go back and watch my old shows when I was filming in the hotel lobby? No. But I started watching it from when I with met With the white you, cheerleaders walking and by? And I started watching it going from there. You feel me? So, like... You feel me? Like, we just got to keep on going. Like I said, if there ain't nothing else I said this whole time, we only here one time. Y'all see me keep on going. You wonder how I keep on doing this. Because there ain't nothing else I really want to do. What I'm about to do, go work at Sam's Club. I'm a musician. I'm an artist. And this is what First I want to do all, in my life. First of all, Sam's Club has some good-ass rotisserie chicken. And they got so great I'm, hot dogs, too. But I'm not a Sam's Club worker. This you're not a greeter? Is, no. this is That's that's not what God put me on this earth to do. God put me on this earth know? to did be you an entertainer. Me? I you did. can entertain at Sam's. You can I ain't going up. to Sam's Club. Mo, what my point? You about to mess up the po the point for the kids. I'm trying to tell y'all, keep on going, do what you're supposed to do. Whenever you happy, something make you happy, and you really crazy about it, go after that 175 percent. No matter what, so nobody says. Absolutely. I had people that didn't believe in this. Like I had times my parents didn't believe in me. not my parents. You know what I'm saying? Certain people. <laughs> Just didn't believe in me, and I just kept on going. I hit the radio right when it, I said my mix wasn't good enough. I mixed that out of one bedroom apartment, and hit the radio with that joint. And eleven eleven sugar dropped today because this is the anniversary of Caddy Feet. Caddy Feet dropped three years ago today. We're gonna get into that in a minute, but it's so funny because I'm laughing because I'm thinking, me and my mom, we have a very topsy turvy relationship. Yeah, and I'm not gonna say she don't believe in me. I just feel like she want me to do what she want me to do. But now that she that I'm talking a certain kind of way to her, she she get it. Yeah. She don't get it, but she get it. Like now I'm talking to my mama about commercial real estate. That ain't even some shit I thought I'd be talking to somebody about. But I'm like, mama, look, they want this for this this square footage. Right. They crazy as hell. They want eight hundred dollars for fifty four square feet. My bedroom bigger than that. She didn't know what I was saying when I said fifty four square room, feet. Room, but when I said talk. my bedroom. Oh, no, nah, hell no, nah, you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Right, because you're starting to change that language on them. It's that boss talk. It's and it feels good. Right. Oh, I feel like it, 
like such a boss chick. Yeah, it's certain things I can't even. I just you can't talk to everybody about because they're not gonna I understand. I feel like Martha Stewart, Bob Vila, Oprah Winfrey, everybody just wrapped in one. Yeah, I'm like a yeah. pig in a blanket. Yeah, for sure. for sure. I'm like a business pig in a blanket. All right, Martha Stewart. I'm a. I'm a. Yeah, that's what I feel like. I want to go wallpaper some shit. Yeah. I ain't mad at you. That's what you got to get to. That's well, while important. I go wallpaper some shit, why don't you go ahead and close out the show and introduce your new song? Man, the new song is called Sugar. It's that boy Rizzy, produced by Sean Ski, my producer, since I got to the A. Love you, boy. Let's keep on winning. Shout out to my brother Eagle. Shout out to Shamika. Shout out to Primo Brown. Sure. Shout out to everybody that showed love. I appreciate y'all. Uh, shout, out Mo. Mm-hmm. shout out to Mo. Shout out to Mo. She got what I like, she got me excited, baby, I'm feeling your vibe My fire's ignited, baby, money on the flow Baby, touch your toes if you're trying to let me know. I can get it for sure. Cause I like it, I like it, I really, really like it. Two girls at one time, they really, really dyking. And she tell me I can hit it, I'ma fuck around and spike it. When she told me I could get it, I was over fast as lightning. Hold up. Sugar, 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 you're my sugar, sugar, I'm a sugar, sugar, cause you're my sugar, 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 you're my sugar, sugar. Every every picture of me in the club, I'm doing a dance. No, no in that. Oh wait, I'm off beat. I'm having a young Miami moment. <laughs> oh god. I like sitting next to Mo because she everybody get a chance to see that I'm six foot. <laughs> Shut the hell up. You Nobody liar. be believing it. That's because you, you got you got heels on your. <laughs> What the hell these hills got to do? Got what these Timberlands got to do with me sitting down on the couch? You ain't got let them buy that Timberland. I don't even no, like that they Timberland. They got, got no a heel. I ain't got no booster seat. Neither do I. Right. That's why they still got heels on them. Like you got on wedges. These Tims. They got on wedges. You got on wedges. I don't give a shit. This is called fashion. Rising. You got one of them little boost things on the inside of your shoe? No, I ain't got no boost things. <laughs> no. Nah, Don't nah, lie. Nah, nah, nah. Rising got a pad in his shoe. I'm about to get some platforms on no cap. What you been doing? Get some platforms for my next show. I'm about to wear some platforms. I'm, I'm sure that you are. Yeah. DJ Shiggy DJ Shiggy Boogie style. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, 
We finna go home so I can take off my red wig. I mean, well, we not. Hey, go man, home. make sure y'all go to YouTube, Razi Space TV, R A Z I Space TV, man. This ain't stopping. Independent grind. Y'all see me? Y'all see everything that looking as beautiful as it is? We are not signed. This is independent. It's coming out of the independent budget. So, hey. Don't get nobody else the credit until they pay for it. Melodic. Uh, I'm oh, I'm independent as well. Yeah. I'm not You're signed, it? but you know nobody cares that I'm not signed. Y'all know I, it I is. I respect it. It's a girl. It's Mo the Clark. Mo girl Mo Clark. This the post up. This the post You're up. Right? Follow me yeah. on IG at Miss Mo Clark, and I will see you guys next week. Peace. Gotta keep it posted. Topic. Post it up like a palm tree in the tropic. Rozzy on the beat, make you wanna come and see. Mo to the C, radio to TV. You know she putting in work like she clocked in. Celebrity guest, never guess who gon' drop in. Television's best, like a S on the chest. Who's next? Say less, cause you rocking with you rocking with the best. Yeah, Keep it going, ain't no 